Hey guys, welcome back to another video, it's me, Stern. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scoreboard or a graphics package, that kind of thing, for OBS. You're going to need a couple of things to start off with. You're going to need OBS, obviously, because that's what we're building it for. Uh, then you're going to need Visual Studio Code, which is what I have open on the screen right now, as you can see. The next thing you're going to need is uh, Node.js. Uh, so you should be able to look that up in Google and download that. You're also going to need some extensions inside of Visual Studio Code. So you just go to the extensions tab. You're going to want to go down and you're going to want to download the live server extension and you're going to download a compiler as well. So you can download this this one, uh, live SAS. You don't need the SAS compiler. You definitely need the live server though. That's it. That's all you need to get started. And let's go back to this. So to start off with, we're going to build, uh, we're going to make a folder inside our computer. So you can create a folder and then just open the folder in here. So I've already created a folder and I already opened it. Once you've opened the folder, you want to create inside of that an index page. That's just the central bit of your uh, program. Now, you might want to rename it later if you start becoming more complicated with your program. We're using Emmet, so you can just put an apostrophe down and there you go. All the stuff is there. Or exclamation mark, my bad, not apostrophe. So you can name this whatever you want. I will just name it scoreboard. Oops, I can't type. Now, inside of the body, uh, actually, first we can attach the style sheet. So we just go link, and that should appear with the Emmet abbreviations. And there you go, that's linked. So we have no style sheet, we'll add that later. But next thing, just go like this and create an inner div. Now, within the inner div, we are going to also create a scoreboard div. There we go. So a div with a class of scoreboard and a div with a class of inner. Now, once we've done that, we can also we'll create our style sheet. So you can just right click to make a new file or you can use the buttons up here. I'm not going to do that. So now you can make style and if you're using the SAS compiler, you want to do SCSS uh, or SAS. And then you're going to look at the bottom and you're going to type click watch SAS and you should see it creates a CSS file. Awesome. So now, thinking about the uh, scoreboard that you're trying to create, you're probably going to have uh, a place for two teams, their names, and then the two scores for each team. So that's essentially four different boxes. So I'm going to create a two uh, divs with the class of team. Oops. Uh, I'm bad at typing. There we go. So you can just do that. And then we create a class, a div with a class of score, and another div with a class of score. There you go, awesome. Now, you're also probably going to want IDs for these, so that we can use them later in JavaScript. So this is just kind of thinking ahead. Uh, so you're going to want to create one like this. So we'll call this score one, uh, or you can call it maybe score left, uh, team left, that kind of thing. Uh, but it's up to you. So I'll name this one team one and then this can be team two and this one will be team two. Oh, my bad. Score or two. Awesome. Easy. So now that we've done all that, we are going to go back to our style sheet. And the first things first, we want to just remove any sort of margins or borders that are will come attached to the stuff we're using. So margins and borders can be there. done. That's easy. That's all you got to start off with. Now, the next thing you can also probably put a font in here as well. We'll do that later. Maybe um, actually we can just set the color of our font. Now we know starting off it's going to be white. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to uh, want to add an inner and there we go. And we will also add team and we'll also add score done easy enough. So in the inner, uh, oh, and we also want a scoreboard done. All right. Awesome. So in the inner, we're going to set the, um, dimensions of what our scoreboard is going to be. So if you are on a, uh, if you want to making a 720p, uh, display, uh, or graphic, I guess you're going to go and set this at 1280 
by 720p like that if you're going to do it in 1080p it's gonna be 1920p by 1080 and if it's a high resolution uh just look it up because i have no idea what it would be but that's essentially all you're gonna do for that and that is easy enough now the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to want to use uh, create the scoreboard so I always created about 30% because that's a pretty good width in my opinion you can make it bigger you can make it not bigger up to you the next thing is you want to have the scoreboard uh, being about uh, a certain height so I'll set it about 80 pixels um, just mess around with it uh, we'll get into it and we'll mess around with it a little bit uh, also in here, you want to set this as a display flex. Uh, this is just to center stuff in the middle third of the page. So I don't know if uh, my mouse is, you can see the mouse at the top. So this is one third of the page here. This is middle third and that's the other third. And if you think horizontally, you just want to be in this third of the page. You want your thing to be kind of centered, if that makes sense. Um, now to do that, you once you've made it, uh, flex you want to justify the content center like that and that should make it center um, now the next thing is the scoreboard so now that we've done that we can make the background color a blue color this is just for testing um, we're just starting off by making shapes if that makes sense so making lots of boxes so that we know where stuff fits if that makes uh, some sense so we're also going to need to put some content in teams but we'll do that later Done like that all right awesome so now we've done some basic shapes we should be able to open it live so just right click on index.html and open the live server and you should get something like this now as you can see it doesn't look great there is scrollbars everywhere and it's a white screen so what you're going to do is you're going to copy uh this link right here and you are going to go into uh i'm just going to Okay. all right so now you're just going to go into your obs and you're going to look you're going to try and create a uh, browser uh thing here so just browser and in the url you are just going to copy and paste uh this link here uh which you also then want to set the width to the same height as what you set the width inside of it so if you're going 1080p the width is 1920 the height is 1080p uh, hopefully that helps uh, now I'll delete that because I already have the source set up and you are all set once you've done that so uh, once I've opened that let me just refresh you should see a scoreboard on the top of my screen in a second there we go so you can see a blue bar up the top that is the scoreboard we are working on so now we'll undo this and now that we know that the scoreboard exists, we can get rid of this blue. And we can set the width of this to be about, uh, I don't know, we'll set it, what is it, each team will go about 35%. And we can go at a width for this one of about 15%. Oops here have that out and then we can set a color uh, oops my bad my color background oops. background color of maybe like make it like a black or maybe or a whitish color I don't know it doesn't really matter uh, let's go DDD probably not enough Maybe more gray like that and that should work somewhat maybe um also we want to have it as a display flex there we go awesome so you can see there there is great at the top and we also want to set the team to a color as well this color done so you can see now that there is uh kind of a team thing up here as a four up the top and now we're just going to individually set those things. And once we get into JavaScript, we're going to need to hard code stuff like this. You can actually 
uh, fully do it JavaScript and allow users to edit it and really make the program useful. Uh, multiple teams, I guess. So now the next thing is we're gonna go team one and we'll go team two as well. Two. And for these ones, we're just gonna set the background to different colors. So that one can be like a dark green and we'll set this one to be like a reddish orange like that. Awesome. So now we've done that, it doesn't look great. Like the boxes don't look great. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff to it. So we want to put some stuff inside. We'll just go back into our divs. Um, now you can make a paragraph and put the content inside of a paragraph, which is probably the more optimal thing to do. Uh, but I'm just kind of going to show you this quickly. So uh, we are not going to do that. So in here, you just want to type in a score. So I'll just do 10 zero. And when the team will just say team one against oops against team 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 two done awesome so that is easy enough now the next thing is we'll set a font size now you can put it in the scoreboard you can put it in the inner you can put it in the all but it doesn't really matter too much um depends on if you can have different font sizes you might want to specify in different locations i'll specify in here and that's about 30 pixels so i think it needs a little bit larger so we go 40. yeah that's looking good so now you can see it's all off uh not very good so we want to just uh go text align enter that now that doesn't look great, does it? So there is another thing we can also do, which is we can make it so that these uh, play inherit. That means they'll be uh, flex boxes. And we can then justify the content center and we can align uh, content center, I think it is, or it might be items. Yeah, it's items. All right, my bad. Align items. There we go. Done. Now you can see that the teams are in the middle. And now we just want to kind of copy the same exact stuff with the score. Done. Awesome. Now that looks all right, but obviously the font is not great. So we can just change the font family. Oops. Feature meetings is not what we want font family there are some here to choose from which are the default i would recommend going on to google fonts and getting a different one we'll just use uh, sans serif one for now not great but it will do so we will also make this uh, have a font weight as well which will be 900 that's kind of bold bold font and as you can see, it's now not working out perfectly. So we'll just set this to 30. And there you go. It aligns perfectly at the boxes. So that is pretty much it to get started with the design. It's pretty basic. So in the next part, we are going to go over how you can add Java elements, uh, JavaScript elements to this. Um, and how that can add extra functionality to the scoreboard as well as uh, if we make a part three, I can also show you how to add timeouts if you wanna have timeouts, as well as some other stuff that you might wanna add. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.